Hi, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's video is going to be um, vintage finds, um, how, to decor how I decorate my house with vintage finds. And these are things I either got at a vintage warehouse, an architectural salvage shop, an eBay or Etsy shop that specializes in vintage. So let's get started. I'm going to start right here on this um, antique card table. I've had that on the wall a few years. I love the colors of it and just the finish. I think that's a really neat piece. Okay, on my mantle here, I have this scale. It is one of my favorites. I have a lot of scales. I love scales, but I looked and looked for a white one this size. And finally, one came up. I was watching them on eBay, like kind of had that alert thing where if anyone lists a vintage white scale, they would notify me. And I think I bought this as soon as it popped up. Um, look at the, the face is so pretty. I love the color, the chippiness. And this was $35. And I'm sorry, my uh, card table, I believe was $25. I don't know if that's a good deal. I've, I never really hardly ever see those. This next item is a... I'm using it as a header above our uh, double window in the family room and I love this vintage, this old wood. I love the look and the uniqueness of this. I had matching wrought iron pieces above both windows in here. Um, they are across the room from one another and I switched them to vintage vines. I didn't like, they were just really standard pieces. You know, anyone could get at Hobby Lobby and I wanted something more personalized. And I like the size of this. I ordered this from a vintage dealer on Etsy and I believe it was right around $35. I'm just gonna move right down to this little footstool. I got this at an antique mall. Um, it had $15 on it. I really didn't wanna pay that. And when we went up to pay for it, I think it rang up either 10 or 12. It was like they had that booth a little bit on sale, which made me really happy. Um, but I love the chipped wood on this one and the size. It's kind of a smaller one. And I, yeah, I have three of these stools. I love decorating with them for like little vignettes. Okay, still in the living room here for this part of the video. I have two things here that are vintage that I wanted to show you. This really cool old sign. Um, I actually looked up this road and I could only find one. It was in a little, it was like a little subdivision near a lake in Florida. So I kind of thought that was neat. I love the color of this. I was very pleasantly surprised when it came in the mail. I had ordered this off of eBay. The size, I mean, it's one of the bigger signs I've ever seen. I've never seen this size when I've been out um, like at flea markets or antique stores. So, and, and the color I kind of think is unusual also, the browns. So I love it for a lot of reasons. And I believe it was $30. Um, this piece of wood, I got it from a vintage warehouse and it said on the like on the tag it said old barn door is what it said I mean it's small I'm not sure but I'm gonna show you the finish just matches I have a lot of teals in here I think it's such a pretty accent color and I love teals in the summer I do teal throw pillows and I just thought that was really neat and that was $35 and I'm thinking that booth had a sale that day, 10 or 15% off of that, so it was a good deal. I wanted to show you this ladder. It's a reproduction. Um, we were vacationing in South Carolina. I'm trying to zoom in here. And they had this ladder leaned up against the wall in a little shop, and I looked it up, and it was made by Creative Co-op, which I love all of their stuff. Um, so I found it online. It was like half the price shipped to my house compared to what it was in that little shop in South Carolina. So my husband said, well, if it's too big, because we didn't know the measurements, I've been wanting something to separate these two rooms. I don't like how there's no header between this family room and the kitchen. So my husband said, well, if it's a little too big, we'll cut it down. But we both thought it was about the right size. And it was perfect. We did not have to cut it down. It was the perfect size. It's rainy and dark out today. I hope that uh, the lighting is okay for this video. Um, these windows are one of the reasons I wanted to make this video. I have found three of these. Um, they're all different. 
I got them all at the same place, but I will show you all three of them. This first one I'm showing you is brown. It had glass, it had all the glass in it, but this is right by my French doors, and there was a terrible glare. So after I'd had this about a year, I came up with the idea to take the glass out, and I love it now. It's, um, you know, there's no glare at all. And I got this, it was a Victorian, it's in Waynesville, Ohio, which that's an awesome town if you live anywhere near there. It's just a great, you can spend a whole day there going to all these little shops. They had like a three-story Victorian house and on their porch they have architectural salvage. And I've gotten corbels from there. I got this window and a white one for $22 each. We went back a year later, which was like last spring, and I got my favorite one, which I'll show you and it was still they were still $22 which if you go to flea markets um, definitely antique stores anything like that you'll know that that is a great price and I love the um, you know the middle the, these little crosses in the middle of that and the scale I've mentioned before I got it at a vintage warehouse this past weekend it was $35 I plan to hang something uh, hang a plant from the bottom of it was $35 and they were doing 10% off. Um, it matches really well in my kitchen. And here on my kitchen counter, I brought in this stool. It has a little bit of that, you know, I tell you, I love that teal color. It has the, that chippiness with the blue showing through. So I was really excited about this find. I ordered this on eBay and I believe it was around $20 with shipping. And it's a great size, great color. I really love it. I've probably talked about the scale in another video. I have a plant, my plants in my sink being watered, but I had a little plant on it. It was $11. I think I got that at a vintage like flea market. Back in my, still in my kitchen, I should say. Um, this scale, I love any decor with white. So I love the white face on this with all the rust and chippiness. Um, I like to stack dishes. I love white stacked dishes. Um, these are yard sale vintage warehouse this was 85 cents i shared it in another video i just got this little piece um this has a really neat top i love the um it's like porcelain i don't i'm not sure what that is but i love the white it looks really good with our granite just a cute little scale and i got this on I think I got this one on Etsy and it was around $20. Sorry if it's a little dark in here. Just wanted to show you, I have this fun little plate wall right when you walk in from our garage. Um, it's just, I collect iron stone, so I have it throughout my house. And these are kind of unusual color. They're not the white, they're creams and browns and tans. And I just think this is really fun. We're in my dining room here. I wanted to show you, this is my favorite of the three windows that I was telling you about. Um, this has the best color. I love it. And I love how there's a lot of the wood showing and you know, it has this wonderful pattern. It's really large. This is one of the really large boxwood wreaths and this is, it's so hard, you know, it's just a blank wall and it's hard to see the scale, but, um, for $22, this was a great find, a steal. I love it. Um, it just goes so perfectly in here. Um, I'll also show you this. There's, um, I've shown that in another video. That's a $2 shutter that I got at a yard sale. Some iron stone, um, a yard sale dish, a vintage find. Um, I love vintage silverware for my dining room to just display, and I hot glued that on there. I wanted to show you this. I got it in an antique mall. It was only $8. Um, I have a mustard colored dining room table. So when I saw this mustard colored chair for $8, I grabbed it. Um, I set like pumpkins, Christmas tree, whatever the season is right now, we're kind of in between. It's not quite time to decorate for spring, but I'll have um, probably a wreath on the back of it, something like that real soon. A few other things I wanted to show you in the dining room. Um, my neighbor's dad tore down a barn and she was so gracious to offer me some barn wood and I took her up on the offer. She brought me a truckload. We've used it for all kinds of things. Hopefully I can show you a few things in this video. This is something my husband made out of a piece. I love the weathered wood. I love the size of this, the color. It's just really neat. Um, the scale I got um, at, a, at an antique store and I believe it was right around the $25 uh, mark. It's 
got the prettiest face. I love this color, this rusty color. Speaking of that barn wood, here in the dining room is a sign that my husband and I made. He just cut some strips of the barn wood. We also took apart an old stool and um, I used it in there just for the, that really neat color. Um, I ordered this really thin laser cut piece of wood that was like $3 on Etsy. Um, I probably need to paint it, but I made this in the fall. So I don't know, I might change it something to say something else for spring, not sure. And um, I had ordered this scale online. Uh, it's really ornate, really pretty color. I've probably showed this in another video. I wanted to show you this scale. I got, I ordered two, a set of two from Etsy from the same vintage dealer. He sold me two scales for $25 and I knew it had, you know, he put in the video, there was that marker on it, which was perfectly fine with me. I don't mind any imperfections. So I didn't like the other scale that came with it. I didn't like the color and I didn't like the size. So I listed it on a buy sell site and I actually sold it for 25. So I feel like I got this scale for free. And look at the pretty needle. This has one of the prettiest needles of any of them that I have. Um, we used some more of that barn wood. I put it as a backdrop, just nailed it right to the wall. This corbel up here, it's kind of a funny shape. It's thick, heavy, and oddly shaped. And I got it and another piece that kind of coordinates with it for $20. So it was a really good price for a corbel of that size. Just don't have a great place to put it. I ordered this little thing off of eBay, this little old piece of pottery, and it was cheap. I think it was $5. Some of my silverware. <laughs> I have these. They're kind of falling out because I had just stuck this up here. I usually have that kind of hidden and this sticking out of there. It all wants to fall. So I can make that look a little bit nicer. I tried turning off the light. I don't know if that lighting's better or, yeah, I'll probably just have to turn the light on. It's just going to be shadowy. I ordered this from a lady on eBay that had a vintage shop. I'd ordered a few other things from her and she put in a listing. It was broken. It came in two pieces. It was super inexpensive. I want to say $15 with shipping for this size and this unique color. I love, I mean, it's so perfect in my dining room. I can't believe that. I was really happy when I got this and I just paired my Pioneer. I got a complete set of Pioneer dishes in this color for $8 at a yard sale. It was a moving yard sale. They were moving. The crazing. I love everything about those. Um, just a really good find, a good deal. Um, I'll just show you this while I'm in here. It's gonna be shadowy. Some of that barn wood that I talked about. Um, my daughter freehanded this sign and my husband framed it with that barn wood that we have. So that's really special to me. It looks good on top of our board and batten in here. Another vintage find. Uh, this is our front door, and right above it, I have this little, I'm using it as a header, and I got this at a salvage shop, a new salvage shop that has really cool stuff, and I think I paid right around $20 for this piece. It's pretty large, pretty heavy. Okay. Hopefully it's not too dark and you can see this window. I wanted to show you, I talked about getting three windows. This was another one. Um, you know, that light's is not going to work very well. I love anything white and chippy, so I just fell in love with this window. It's There's no direct window in here, so there's no glare like my other ones that I had to take the glass out of. Um, this one still has the glass. $22, that was such a good find. These are hard to come by because on Instagram I follow a ton of home decor people and I know most of the windows don't have this beautiful design in them. They're, they're kind of a rare find. And I got these shutters at a vintage warehouse. It was $8 for the pair. I think shutters add a little character. Um, yeah, I talked about that. It was a flea market find. I talked about that in my flea market video. So be sure to check those out if you haven't already. The same shop that I got those three windows, the three-story Victorian that I told you about, also on the porch this last time that we went in the spring, I got this stool. It was $15. And I bought it for my porch, and I had it out there. I just recently brought it in after I took down the Christmas decor 
Um, I didn't want it to get ruined in the snow and things, so I had a hutch sitting here that I recently got rid of. I haven't found what I want to put in this little corner in the kitchen yet. So for now, I just kind of put that little stool there. I mean, your dog Charlie, he just looked like he wanted to be in the video. <laughs> Charlie, I didn't need a stopping point for this video. And I've showed the scale. I got this at a flea market. I already talked about that. I got it for $8. Um, I got this little pitcher recently at a vintage warehouse. It was $3.99 and 40% off. And I'm going to make a, I'm going to try to make an ironstone Christmas tree. So I'm going to be looking for little pieces like that this summer when I'm at flea markets and yard sales. So um, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up and I will continue to make the vintage find videos and thank you so much for watching.